y sororo mayo lo ve jude. Ni ya no te escucha y un dinoche. Ni ya prince triste sin él. Ni cayó un fete de chile. Ay, boca de te no me. Ni ya prince triste sin él. Ni cayó un fete de chile. Ay, boca de te no me. My sister studied elementary and preschool pedagogy and some of her teachers told her to go to Petrovani to teach Roma children. Mainly for the experience, but also to learn. She knew that I had started to study activity leading at the Greek Catholic Theological Faculty in Presho. And she told me that I would have teaching practice in the third year of study and it would be good to do something with children. So once she brought me here with her. People in Need exists in Slovakia as a branch of the Czech organization Človek v tisni. In the area of Eastern Slovakia, it directs three community centers. We are in Petrovany, Sveržov and Roškovce. Our main goal is to help to reduce social exclusion in society. We mainly focus on younger children. In the area of work he does, I think he has found himself. He's had a good relationship with children from childhood. He's very communicative and he's inventive in every situation. He's playful, he strives to lead free time activities for young children very well. I have younger siblings, and when my parents worked quite long and often, we older siblings had to take care of the younger ones. And I think this was a key moment when I decided to study activity leading and to work with children. Janko started part-time. It was about two lessons a week. Once he came with his colleagues and they created a program for a day. The first hours were catastrophic. The children did not respect us at all. They did not listen to us. But then we achieved respect on the basis of rules. And after that, I would call it a lesson. We always did it so that it was interesting to children. They do not like learning like they do in school. They prefer something freer. At university we agreed to go to the center and which topic we would prepare. For example, we focused on the four seasons, especially the autumn. And my colleagues prepared some crosswords, games, and we would have a prepared topic. Later on he started to do tutoring in the program DOT with a boy in the seventh year of elementary school. We began in an office one and a half lessons a week. Then it was two, and when I started to go into their place, it was three or three and a half lessons. I had some specific points which I was supposed to pay attention to, but gradually I recognized that the boy did not like the subject. So I realized that it would be useless to do what he does not like. I started creating things. I did a crossword focused on a topic with the name of a city, for example, nature. I used English words about nature. Then I downloaded some articles about the city which he read to me. And then I did some statistics whether he read well or badly. I can say that in the beginning I saw it as some work. Then I saw him as a friend, a younger brother. Then I saw him as a friend, a younger brother. 
Janko is a great benefit and reinforcement for our children mainly, especially because of the fact that he is a male role model. We have young women, in fact there are few men. And he fulfills the role of a father which is very often missing in families. A typical thing for him is that he has low assertivity. But I see it in a good way, because he was not just focused on his client, but while he was at the center, he was giving himself to all those around him. What I like about Janko and what I admire is that he is always good-tempered, optimistic and he can get children's attention. He can communicate with them, which, in my opinion, is crucial for volunteer activity in our area and for his future work. He was the first who asked us to come with him, me, my brother and others. He was talking about Petrovani a lot. He took me to the center as a volunteer. At first, I looked at it as just being useful for my university, because of a document about the teaching practice, that would help me in future. I finally said to myself that I liked it, enjoyed it, I wanted to go here and I liked going here.